Uh, I'm not off to a good start. I'm not off to a good start. I've tried filming this intro four times. Stop. Hi guys! So today it is finally time for my favorites of the month. And so basically I get to show you guys what I've been loving this month. And yeah, today I have mostly beauty favorites. Pretty much all of these things are beauty favorites. But I'm going to share them anyway with you guys. Um, and I do have some music favorites, so don't be worried, I guess. Um, it's not all beauty, but yeah. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I've been is the Milani Baked Blush. And it just looks like this in Rose de Oro, number two, if you're wondering, zero two. And it just looks like this. It's really pretty, and I love it so much. And it looks like this. And it's this pretty rosy peachy color and it actually has like some goldish tints in it because it's a baked blush and usually with the Milani baked blushes they do have hints of gold in there and yeah don't you just love this packaging I love this packaging I feel like I'm constantly talking about Milan Milani and flower but they're such good brands like they're drugstore brands but they're good quality drugstore brands Brands. So they're a little bit higher priced than some of the other stuff you get at the drugstore, like Walmart, Target, places like that, Walgreens, CVS, but they're a little bit pricier but than usual drugstore brands, but they're better quality, I feel, than other drugstore brands. Milani Baked Blush, definite favorite. I'm wearing it right now. I got it and I'm obsessed. Next is actually, I have this Betsy Ville by Betsy Johnson little lipstick container holder. And that's definitely been a favorite this month because I just found it in my room the other like a few weeks ago when I was cleaning and now I keep it on my bag all the time because I love wearing lipstick I always wear lipstick as you can tell I like wearing bright lipsticks and dark lipsticks and every kind of lipstick nudes whatever and so yeah I love lipstick even when I don't have makeup on I still at least have my lipstick on so yeah so this has definitely been one of my favorites and actually has my favorite lipstick in it right now so this is the MAC lipstick in media I don't know if I've talked about this or not in a video I think I've probably used it but I don't think I've talked about it talked about it it looks like this and it's like this dark deep brownish plum and I'm not wearing it right now, surprisingly, but I do, looks like that. It's like deepish purpley brown, like I said, and I love it so much. So that's definitely been a favorite too, because I wear it like all the time, except for like now. Um, I feel like that's one of the most used lipsticks. Um, okay, next is actually another Milani product, and it's the Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. And it just looks like this and I learned about this because my friend actually used it and I did her makeup for states but yeah so just looks like this and I love it it's just a great liquid eyeliner so if you're looking for a good liquid eyeliner Milani ultra fine liquid eyeliner and it's just black um next thing flower and I promise this is the last Milani or flower product I'm talking about in this video but it is this right here and you can tell I use it it's the CF4 perfect canvas cream foundation and I just love the packaging like I said of Milani products but also flower products and yeah so this is great I've never actually used a foundation like this where it's just a cream foundation that you have to like use a sponge or a brush and I love it. I use the sponge that came with it and I actually like it better than liquid I think because liquid kind of gets all over the place and I feel like with a cream base it kind of sticks to my skin more so it's not always like it sticks to my face more so because I always have this problem my skin's not like oily or anything I have normal skin sometimes it gets kind of oily but it's not like oily skin whatever it's like just average skin my skin doesn't really get dry but it doesn't get oily but I always manage to get my makeup on everything. If I touch my face even for a second, or I'm even sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, I could barely touch my face or the makeup, and it'll still manage to get on like my schoolwork or 
the car or everywhere and so like I know I should probably be using setting spray and it's on my list of things to get but even sometimes when I use setting spray it still comes off on everything so I don't know why but this seems to be doing the trick it doesn't really seem to get on much I mean it's definitely reduced how much makeup I have getting all over the place so I haven't really seen much of like anything so it's made a huge difference and I actually love it I feel like it gives a better application so last makeup thing but it's just this brush from MAC and it looks like this and it's a very it's like a rounded brush and it's very hard and I don't actually know what this is for like I can't tell you what this actually brush this actual brush is used for but it's the MAC brush and it's number 219 and like I said looks like this but I like using it I really can't tell you what it's for it's probably for like not even concealer I don't even know but I use it in my crease here if you can tell like I always use like dark black in my crease or I use like a dark color in my crease like that but I usually use black and it really adds to the pigmentation you don't have to do as much with in the crease because it picks up on the pigment really fast and it applies more pigment to your skin instead of it getting all falling out in the brush and then all of your pigmentation is in the brush and you're wasting eyeshadow so I don't know why I started using this but it's been working I think I tried using it because I was using a glitter eyeshadow but it was like sticky glitter eyeshadow creamy eyeshadow and it always like got in the brush and nothing ever transferred to my eye and so I tried it with that and I was like wow this actually works and then I started using it for my crease and yeah next favorite is actually I I don't think this is a makeup favorite but you can call it that I guess so I lied then it's my YouTube mirror and it's just like this cute little compact and that's about it I don't think I've really talked about it talked about it but if I have I still love it um I just think it's really cute and yeah and flower crown that was last of the makeup stuff like I said flower crown I recently cut my hair and even before I cut my hair I still wear flower crowns all the time but I've noticed that since I've cut my hair I do wear flower crowns more often I don't know maybe it's spring maybe it's Coachella it's music festival season and it's also like my haircut I guess and spring all in one and now I've been wearing flower crowns a lot Actually, if you've ever been flush you know what this is it's a bath bomb and I love them so much I used the twilight one the other day and I actually have pictures I think I posted pictures yeah I posted pictures on my Instagram and it just smells so good this is the rose bombshell and it's just white around and then it actually has roses in it so there's gonna be roses in your bathtub when you use it I actually haven't tried this one yet but I did try the twilight one and I was so obsessed with it my bathroom still oh, my bathroom still sometimes smells like it when I walk in I'm like wow this really smells like my bath bomb so yeah I got a bath bomb and I'm so obsessed with them now and I think I have a problem but we're not going to talk about that. These are favorites this month I will actually play for you. And the first one is actually... And my first one is actually, surprisingly, a country song. Which is like, whoa, what? Because if you know me, I don't listen to country. I listen to Hunter Hayes, and that's about as country as I go. I have a wide variety of music, I guess you can say. I'll listen to anything from Five Sauce to... Pierce the Veil to Porter Robinson so yeah I listen to a lot of different types of music and like I listen to like alternative like Hosier, Hosier, whatever you want to say I say Hosier and yeah but actually my friend Justice came over not that long ago and she introduced me to this song by Sam Hunt and it's called Break Up in a Small Town so yeah, so I'm just gonna play a bit of it for you guys, and yeah. Okay, 
first music favorite and I love it so much. So Sam Hunt, listen to him. I never thought I would, but it's great. I've been staring at the hotel ceiling. She would get down with somebody I know. I guess that's just how it goes when you break up in a small town. Give me the go around. I don't mind. So my second music favorite for this month is actually not a new song. It's an old song that I've been listening to. I've listened to it before, but I've been listening to it a lot lately, and it is actually Boston by Augustana, which I'm pretty sure all of you know. If you don't, you should. Um, and you probably might not know it if I just say the song, but when you hear it, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have at least heard it before. So yeah, so I'm going to play a bit of it for you. That was Boston by Augustana, and yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure you all have at least heard it once, and if you haven't, you should listen to it. So yeah, I'll definitely link all these music favorites below. And then on the complete opposite end of the spectrum is my newfound love and appreciation. It's not that newfound, but I've been listening to him a lot lately, is Black Bear. Um, if you don't know who that is... He sings IDFC, I think all of you know that song, but um, he also sings this song, which is called Cars, Clothes, and Calories, and so yeah. So that is it. That is my music favorites for the month. And also, I completely forgot, but fashion favorite real quick, this cardigan. I've been wearing this cardigan a lot lately. I've been wearing my leather jacket a lot, as you saw in my last video, I think, or the video before. I think it was the last video. I wore a leather jacket. That's one of my favorites. I just don't know where it is right now. But I've been wearing jackets and sweaters a lot lately, so my leather jacket is a favorite. But this cardigan is also a favorite, too. I bought it over the summer. It's from the Bethany, Bethany Moda collection, and I'm obsessed with it. But I've been wearing it a lot lately more because it's now, like, you can wear it. It's kind of springy, you know? It was winter before. That is it for this video. Well, I'm probably going to cut this in half. So, yeah, like I said, if you see two videos back-to-back -back of me wearing the same exact outfit, that's why. I try not to wear the same thing in videos twice, but eventually I'm going to. So, I mean, I wear the same like things like cardigans and stuff like that, but I try not to wear the same outfits twice. So yeah, but too bad. So yeah, 